Good morning, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is Your Journey Yoga, and I'm Cheryl. And today we are going to do a quick, wonderful, just getting the body moving, get the blood flowing. Um, one of those where you're like, I don't have a ton of time, uh, but I just need to get something in, and I need uh, to move and to breathe. So here we go. We're going to bring those hands down by your side, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, little tap of the fingertips to the mat. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, release that right hand to the mat. Left arm comes up and over, staying up on that right palm. Reach as far as you can reach. And then give a little push with that right hand. Lift the left side of the rib cage. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest to your thigh. Reach it out. Relax the weight of your head. Once again, opening it back up. Tummy and chest open to the front. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Little tap of the fingertips. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, release that left hand down. Right arm up and over. Oh, reach as far as you can reach. Now give a little push with that left hand. Lift the right side of the rib cage. Exhale and release the tummy and chest to your thigh. Reach it out. And roll it back, open the tummy and chest towards the side, and inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up. Exhale, rotate to the right, little tap of the fingertips to the mat. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, rotate, open, tap the fingertips. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale and release those arms down by your sides. Let's bring that right foot around behind us, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe, bringing that left hand behind you. Reach your right arm to the sky. We're going to lift and we're going to open, reaching behind. And inhale, release your bottom back down. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, lift that right arm, lift those hips, arch it back. Exhale, gently release it back down. We're going to do that once more. Core strong. Inhale, reach and open and bring your bottom back down bring one hand on either side of your knee and let's slowly walk it forward releasing the weight of the upper body just letting the tummy and chest come to rest on that left knee arms can be out long or you can rest those hands allowing the forehead to rest against the back of the hand so just come where it feels good to you and let's slowly walk it back up. Now we're going to sweep legs around. Left leg behind, right leg in front. Bringing that right hand around behind you. Left arm extends. We reach. Oh, and take it back. Inhale it back all the way back down. We're going to do that two more times. Reach. Open. Arch it back. And bring yourself back to the mat. We're going to do that once more, big as you can. Reach and open. Feel that stretch through the front of that left leg, through those hips, the hip flexors. Inhale it back down. Let's bring one hand to the either side of the knee. Sit up as tall as you can sit, and then slowly walk those hands forward out over that right knee, either fully extending those arms or go ahead and stack your hands and the forehead just gently rests. Checking in, letting go in that lower back, through the hips, the neck and the shoulders. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. We're going to bring those hands to the top of the mat and lift. Breathe. Find that breath. Now slowly walk it back through center and let's switch those legs once again, taking those hands on either side, both, both hands to the side of that left leg, sitting up as tall as you can sit and breathe. Let's bring those hands forward towards the top of your mat. We're going to lift the hips and sweep those knees underneath us to a tabletop position. Taking a big breath in, we come to cow pose. Exhale and hollow to cat. Let's do two more of each. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. 
Last one, inhale to cow. And exhaling it to cat. Coming back to that neutral spine, bringing those hands forward towards the top of your mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. We come to down dog. And we inhale it to high plank or high push-up position. Exhaling it to down dog. Let's do two more of those. We inhale it to plank. Exhale it to down dog. And one more, my friends. Inhaling it to plank. Exhaling it to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left foot. Right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Let's bring that back knee to the mat, untuck those toes, lift your hands to that right thigh, sitting up as tall as you can sit, pressing those hips forward, getting that long stretch down the front of that left leg. Breathe. Extending left arm out, lift it high, arch it back. Find your breath. Inhale it up tall, release that left hand to the inside of your right foot, rotate your body and reach that right arm to the sky, reach up as high as you can reach and slowly lower that right arm straight back, reaching towards the back of your mat, following your gaze. Can you find the base of that left or that right thumb? Inhale, reach to the sky and as you exhale, release that right hand to the inside of your foot. Breathe, let that right knee just gently roll open. Feels right to you. Come down onto your left forearm. Turn towards that right leg and give it a gentle press away. We are never going to do things that our body is not ready for. So always being mindful of that intensity scale. Always want to stay at an eight or under. Never above. Releasing that right hand to the inside of your foot. Coming back up and draw that right knee back in. One hand on either side of your foot. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog, and we inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back knee to the mat. Untuck those toes. Lift the chest. Rest your hands to that left thigh. Let your hips be heavy. Feel that stretch down the front of that right leg. Extending right arm out. Lift it high. Arch it back. Breathe. Find that breath. Inhale it back up, releasing that right hand to the inside of your left foot. Rotate your body and extend. Left arm to the sky, reach it up. Lifting out of that right shoulder so we're not sinking into that shoulder. Lengthen and reach. Now slowly lower that left arm straight back. Follow with your gaze if that's okay on your neck. Spread your fingers and reach. Breathe. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky and then slowly release your hand to the inside of your foot. Core is strong, both hands to the inside of the foot, and we let that left knee just gently roll open. Getting into the hips, strong through the core. If you like, come down onto that right forearm, turn towards that left leg, give that little push away with that left hand. Breathe. Gently releasing, bringing that left hand back to the inside of your foot, coming back up to the palms of the hands and slowly draw that left knee in. One hand on either side of your foot, tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, extend left leg to the sky. And gently releasing it down to down dog, inhaling to high plank. Let's take this super slow, crocodile, take your time, make it last. Keep that core strong. We do our best not to let those hips drop. Press it through up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. And we just check in here. Amazing. In such a short time, we can get so much done. Allowing the body to release tension, to get the blood flowing, to get that heart rate up just a little bit.
Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands out to the left. Reach through your right fingertips and press your hips to the right. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Nice, big, deep breaths. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through center. And then walk those hands to the right. Reach out through those left fingertips. Press your hips to the left and relax the weight of the upper body down. So it doesn't take a ton of time, guys. It just takes a little effort and some consistency. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through to center to child's pose. And just hold here. Knees together or knees open. Arms extended out nice and long or hands stacked. And we just take a moment to check in. To let those movements, those asanas, those poses that we just did, to let your body, your mind, your spirit assimilate them. To notice that blood flowing, the energy flowing freely. Removing any blocks throughout the body to let that energy and that blood flow. And let's slowly walk the hands up. Come over onto your hip. Sweep your feet around. Coming to a cross-legged position. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, little tap of the fingertips. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release that right hand, left arm up and over. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, reach it out. Little tap of the fingertips. Inhale, reach. Sit up nice and tall. One more time. Let's take it to the left. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up and pull your hands to heart center. You guys are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for this quick little flow. I hope that it helped. I hope it was that little burst of energy that you needed. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Be well. Take care. Until the next time, my friends, light and love to each and every one of you. And namaste.